Hi everyone, I'm going to try to go over the iPet Goat movie today, but I still have a few things that I need to clarify, especially concerning Ezekiel 2.9, which is where I left off in my last video, where I was talking about this scripture over here, Ezekiel 2.8 and 2.9, and how this matches up with Revelation 10, 8, and 9. This is a, a parallel scripture. In, in fact, it's a parallel to a lot of other scriptures in the Bible. Daniel 12, 7, Zechariah 14, 4, but I can get into that a little bit later. They're, they're all representing the same thing. Okay, so over here in Ezekiel 2, 8, which looks like 2018, as I've mentioned before, I believe this represents the year 2018, it says, But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee, be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house, open thy mouth, and eat that I give thee. And as I explained in my last video, this is a parallel to Psalm 81, 10, which would be 118 backwards. Again, I believe that represents the year 2018. And then the very next verse, which would be Ezekiel 2, 9, it reads, And when I looked, behold, a hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was thereon. And as I explained in my last video, the roll of the book would be a Megillah, and I showed some images of that. Okay, here's another image of a Megillah, so you can see what that looks like. It's also the same word in the Greek, which is this word right here, which is Strong's number 2777. Okay, you can see that here it means a little head, the highest part or extremity of anything as the capital of a column, the tips or knobs of the wooden rod around which parchments were rolled were called by this word because they resembled little heads. Okay, it can also mean the role of a book in general, and I showed this image in my last video, so this is what that would look like. Okay, and this imagery is really important because this directly relates with what's being represented over here in the iPet Goat movie. This is actually the most important scene of the entire video. And so I want to try to explain that, but I still have a few more things to explain. And I just wanted to point out that the word hand over here has a number of meanings, and this is something that I wanted to get into. But if you look at the meaning of the word hand, you can see that it means the hand, strength of power, sign, monument, tenons as in the tabernacle, which I'll, I'll talk about in a minute, but it also refers to a phallus, as it says here. Okay, so this is basically a representation of the two trees. It's the difference between the tree of life versus the tree of knowledge of good and evil. It's also the difference between the true Mount Sinai, which I believe God has confirmed to be located in Egypt, and the mountain that it has been claimed to be the real Mount Sinai that was recently found in Saudi Arabia. And the reason they're claiming this to be the, the real Mount Sinai is because it's black at the top and so it appears to be burnt. But I believe the real Mount Sinai is the one that was burnt at the top and that's why it's flat. I believe it's also flat because it's a representation of the Temple of God just as the Great Pyramid of Giza is a representation of the Temple of God, and so it's missing the capstone, which Jesus is the, the true capstone. He's the head of the corner, and he's about to be placed on there very soon, and so that's what I want to try to show you next. Okay, I've already talked about how the terms head of the corner come up in Luke 2017, which looks like the year 2017. It also comes up in 1 Peter 2, 7, which again, I believe the number 27 represents the year 2017. And it also comes up in Psalm 118, verse 22, which 22 is a number having to do with DNA, which is what this is ultimately about. But I believe Psalm 118 represents the year 2018 that was discovered by J.R. Church. And so if you look at the words head of the corner, if you look at the word in the Greek, you see that it's Strong's number 2776. 
this is the word head and I've also talked about how the height of the Great Pyramid of Giza is 5776 inches so that matches up with the word head and the word head is used 76 times in the the New Testament and so this is the word that's used for the head of the corner and then the very next word is the Strong's number 2777 which as I just mentioned it means little head but it also refers to the the wooden knobs that the scroll is, is rolled around and it also refers to the roll of the book itself okay, and if you look at this word in the New Testament you see that it's only used one time in the entire New Testament and that's in Hebrews 10 7 which again makes the number 17 this is Strong's number 2777 and this is where Jesus said okay starting from verse 5 it says wherefore when he cometh into the world he saith sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not but a body hast thou prepared me in burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin that hast had no pleasure then said I lo I come in the volume of the book it is written of me to do thy will so Jesus comes to do God's will in Hebrews 10 7 which makes the number 17 and this is a direct quote from Psalm 47 which again you have the number 7 here and the, the semicolon makes it look like 17 but again it's in verse 7 where it says then said I lo I come in the volume of the book it is written of me so it's talking about the, the volume of the entire book and the word that's used here is Strong's number 2777 and this is the exact representation of what's being represented over here in the IPEC goat movie okay in addition to that you have the volume of the Great Pyramid of Giza which is the number 91,227,778 so you have the Hebrew year 778 you have the year of the Exodus which was 2277 on the Hebrew calendar and you also have the the Hebrew year 777 all contained within the the volume of the pyramid okay in addition to that you have the table that I did on the word Cheops which is another name for the Great Pyramid of Giza and when you put in the word light it makes a triangle when you put in the words light ray it actually looks like a crystal which I can talk a little bit more about but it makes a, a pyramid in, right at the very tip of the pyramid or at the point of the crystal you have the word the precious onyx okay and this is the first branch of the river of the Garden of Eden comes up in verse 11 where it talks about the, the river Pison or Pison I'm not sure how you pronounce that and then this is where you have the onyx stone and the gold and the bdellium and the word onyx is Strong's number 7718 so again you have the Hebrew year 77 and the Gregorian year 18 and this word comes up 11 times again this is all about DNA and so this is where you have the precious stone which is located at the head of the corner in this table and this word is Strong's number 7718 okay if you go to Isaiah 1919 19, this is where it talks about the Great Pyramid of Giza where it says in that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord and it shall be for a sign and a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt for they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors and he shall send them a savior a great one and he shall deliver them and so if you look at the word pillar which is what the great pyramid of Giza is referred to in Isaiah 19:19. You see that it's the word Matsaba, which is Strong's number 4676. And again, the number 46 is a number having to do with DNA. I believe the word pillar also refers to DNA. I've shown that before. And this is coming up. The Strong's number is 4676. So again, you see the Hebrew year 76 represented in the first Strong's number for the word Mastaba but this word ranges through to Strong's number 4678 and I'll just show you 4678 
okay you can see it's the same word it's the word pillar mastaba or stump and a mastaba is a, a tombstone which is what the, the Great Pyramid of Giza is. You can see the word mastaba right there it refers to a tombstone. Okay, and this word matzaba, which was Strong's number 4678 in the Hebrew, which means pillar, mastaba, or stump, was the same word that was coming up in this table that I did on April, Wheatfield, Pentecost. I had put in the words Ruth, King, Wed, and Lion see the word Ruth coming up here at an angle right by where it's saying the way of the Fuller's Field which at the time I had no idea what the Fuller's Field was at the end of the conduit of the upper pool. Okay and this table was coming up in Isaiah 6 13 through Isaiah 7 but you see over here where it's talking about the stock of a tree and so that was Strong's number 4678 and then the next chapter it's Isaiah 7 and this is where he had a confederacy going against Israel and God told Isaiah to meet them at the end of the conduit at the fuller's field and then it was in verse 11 where God told Ahaz to ask for a sign and Ahaz said he didn't want to tempt God and then God said he himself would give him a sign he said behold the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel and this was coming up in Isaiah 7 14 which makes 777 okay and I just noticed something interesting this morning I was looking over Ezekiel 1 verse 22 where, where it talks about the terrible crystal which I believe represents DNA which I could talk a little bit more about that in a minute but I was looking at the word heads because there was a discrepancy with the word heads in the Greek. It's in the singular, but the creatures was in the plural. Over here you had the living creature was in the singular, but heads was in, in the plural in the Hebrew, which seems to confirm the fact that this is not literal, that this is referring to DNA, and there's different ways to describe it, but I was looking at the word head in the Hebrew and noticed that it's Strong's number 7218. So again, you have the number 18 associated with the word head. 72 is the number 27 backwards. It's also half of 144 represents the 144,000. Okay, so the word head is connected to the year 2018 as well as the year 2017 in the Hebrew. If you read it backwards, the number 72 would be 27 backwards, but it also represents the 144,000. And then if you look at, Le at um, Virgo's head, if you look at the Revelation 12 sign that it talked about in Isaiah 7, and you look at Virgo's head. Okay, you have this star over here, which is called Zavi Java, which means beautiful Lord. That Strong's number 57757. So you have the three sevens there. But you also have another star on the other side of Virgo's head, which is HIP 57779. So again, you have the Hebrew year 5777 there. Nine is a number for judgment. This is the, the closest meeting to the constellation Leo to the star Denebola. And Denebola means the, the coming judge in the, the Hebrew. This is in the constellation Leo in the tail of Leo. Okay, so I just wanted to show you all of these coincidences concerning the head of the corner, if you can call it that, how many indications there are that seem to be pointing to the years 2017 to 2018 and there's actually a lot more there's a very important detail that's in this I pet goat movie that I want to try to explain in my next video once I start going over the movie but I just want to share one more detail concerning the number 777 is in the Hebrew year 5777 this is the word din which is where you get the word denebola is in the star denebola which means the coming judge this word means to judge and this is the star that's located right across the star in 
Virgo's head, which is HIP 57779. And of course, 9 is the, the number for judgment. 